Hello nerds, Pablo Gunner here. I just finished my cardio workout for the night, or in the morning, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, but last night I ran, I did cardio. Like I said, I was off for a few days because um, of my wife's birthday. So I was like, I gotta hit it hard. Did my run, ran as fast as I could. And I improved my time. I did two miles in, I want to say 17 minutes. Uh, I wanted to make 16 minutes, but I just was not fast enough. Uh, I did make stops about every quarter because there's Pokemon popping up. So I paused it and caught some Pokemon and then kept going. Um, I was listening to Queen while I was I was rocking Queen. But I don't know what it was. Is like my, my phone was just playing the hits and I was like I've already heard the hits I downloaded all the music because I want to hear the obscure stuff I've realized that I really like listening to albums as a whole like in order because a lot of albums seem to have like a nice flow to them so I like to listen to them that way versus um, like just the hits or just randomized you know uh, tell me what you think how like how you like to listen to music um, you know not just for running but just like period um, so yeah, and so that's what I did. It was pretty good, you know, get stretched, showered at the gym, um, at work and stuff, headed to work. Once again, it was my Friday, so I took advantage. That's why I'm here at the Casa again, and that's why I did. I, I'll be honest, I wasn't going to do my workout this morning. Um, like when I got home, I ate because I was still hungry. You know, I had like one of those snack packs um, on the way home. Um, but that was not enough, you know, because it's just like cheese and almonds and raisins. Uh, so it wasn't enough. I got home. I'm hungry. The wife made me some amazing California chicken. Wonderful. Had like avocado in there, green beans. Uh, you know, there was tomato, diced tomato in there. Um, it was it was delicious, delicious. Uh, that I will not let go to waste because there's still like two more servings. I just had the smallest serving because there's three pieces of chicken and the whole thing. Of, Green beans under. But anyways, um, so getting back to the point is, which, um, so yeah, I did that. Oh, I also had watermelon, which that's another thing. Like, I don't, I've, I never heard of understood the um, racist stereotype that black people love watermelon. I, like, maybe I don't hang out with another black enough black people. Um, but I like, I, I was in the Navy. There was a lot of black people in the Navy. I, they were all my friends. I never saw them once eat watermelon or talk about how much they wa love watermelon. But Hispanic people love watermelon. Melon, sandia, like they love it. So I, I, maybe we need to, the, the, you know, like just forget stereotypes or hey, let's let's bring that stereotype onto Hispanic people too, you know, because uh, yeah. But anyways. Um, so yeah, then I played some, uh, what did I play? I played, uh, the Game of Thrones Telltale, Telltale Game, um, the first episode, which was really, I was surprised how long it was, and it's cool because it actually plays a lot like how the book reads, which is each chapter is a different character, and it, so it moves around to different characters, but I thought it was a little sporadic the way it moved to some of the characters. Like, it would be like one little short clip, and then it was done. And I'd be like, okay, that was a waste. Like, why did that even, why was that even in there? In fact, I kind of felt like they should have put chapters in there. Like, said, you know, even though it's an episode, put like, hey, chapter this, chapter that, chapter that for each character. So that it was actually more like the book. Um, even though it's just doing that was really awesome. And the art, the style is so great because it's like a living portrait. It's just beautiful. And it's to its own. Like, it varies, like, those choices you make. It's just like watching Game of Thrones or reading Game of Thrones. Like, every choice has consequences. Mind you, I know how that's how their games play, the Telltale games. But still, it was phenomenal the way they did it. Um, I'll give a full review of it, which that's pretty much mostly my review. But... I'll, I'll go more in depth in my video because I recorded it and it was like, I think it's going to be about an hour and a half worth of gameplay of just the first episode. Um, really, really amazing. So, but anyways, so I did that and I was going to read comics after that, but it went on so long, I was like, I'm just going to go to bed. So like, I'm, I take a nap and I got up and I was like, all right, I have comics to read. So I got up and I was like, I need to work out, but I have comics to read. You know, I record the comic cast Saturday and it's Friday, so I, I read a couple comics. I read the casting, really interesting, really you know, it's 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 interesting stuff. Uh, it's 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 good. Some parts better than others, obviously, 
But anyways, yeah, and then I also read, um, gosh, what was it? Oh, yeah, Spider-Man, Spider-Men 2, um, so, and that one, uh, that one's also really awesome, but, yeah, it's, it's, I'll cover that in the comic cast, that stuff. But anyways, yeah, so, and then I was like, you know what, I did got water, I hydrated a little bit, and I was like, okay, I need to knock this out, you know, and that's the thing is I have to say that I've gotten feedback from people already, and I really, really appreciate the feedback, because I'll be honest that if it wasn't for the feedback and people telling me, like, hey, man, I really like your videos, and I've gotten a lot of, of views, you know, on the website mostly versus the, uh, versus the YouTube channel. I prefer people go straight to the YouTube channel, but I have been promoting the the, face, the website more, so that's kind of on me as well. But um, I, because of those, because of those people, um, you know, one guy in specific, specific, you know, he, he messaged me on Facebook, and that's cool too. You know, if you're a friend, you know, feel free to message me, and if you're not a friend, friend me. Just tell me why, and you know, I'll accept your friend request. Um, and, and so that really motivated me to do this workout this morning because, like I said, I was probably going to skip it because I'm like, oh, whatever, it's my days off, I'm home, you know, I have comics to read, I have videos to edit, you know, and stuff. So I was like, you know what? And then same thing, through my workout, like I really pushed myself and I this time I made it through like the whole minute every time with every single workout that I did. Uh, I, I, you know, I really stuck to it, stuck it through didn't quit and it was because I was motivated motivated by the people that say that they're motivated by me so it's like you know I kind of felt like a Goku with the spirit bomb you know and I'm like give me your power you know like it felt it was just a great feeling so I want to say uh, thank you to all those people that are supporting me uh, in this so far and everything like that um, I'm gonna keep on doing this as long as I can and I'm gonna do more you know like once I get this workout thing hammered out and stuff like I said me and Tonebone even, like, Tonebone wants to get in on it too, um, and stuff, it's gonna be like Pokemon slash DBZ workouts and stuff, and, uh, and, and we're gonna try to make a full video of it too, eventually, like, where it's, it's us working out and stuff, um, cause he's, he's a different body type than me, you know, he's a bigger dude, and so, you know, we want to show that, hey, it doesn't just work for skinny little twigs like me, which even though, you know, I've put on, I've put on a little weight from slacking, for, you know, a month before I started this, you know, but, uh, anyways, yeah, so I just want to thank those people and tell you that's what's coming ahead. Also, I also, eventually, once I've got this hammered out, I want to do an Aquaman workout, uh, where I go to Define Fitness, and I swim a mile, and then when I reach that mile, I'm gonna get an Aquaman, like, his symbol, like, belt symbol tattoo right there where he has it, because I've always liked Aquaman, the idea of him just being, like, from two different worlds, but neither world completely accepting him really rises true with me uh, growing up as, uh, you know, an Irish Latino, not knowing which group, um, you know, I fit in with uh, and stuff like that. So, anyways, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's it. Um, what else? Planet of the Apes is coming up. I can't wait to see that and stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's that's going to be freaking cool. We'll probably see that today. So, um, yeah, tell me what anything that's going on with you, like what nerdy things you have going on. Um, oh, yeah, also for this workout this morning, I was rocking um, Aerosmith. So just, you know, whatever. I don't know, just random thing. But, yeah, tell me what, you know, what nerdy things you're into or, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, as well as, like I said, the, the music, like how you like listening to music and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. And uh, also, shout out to Hermano, my Hermano. Um, he actually got me all this gear. Well, not this, not this one, uh, but this one, and the headband, and and he gave me socks that go with it and everything. Um, got me started on wearing the Captain America gear. People call me Captain America just because I wear this Captain America gear. Uh, it's it's funny, but you know I love it. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, love and peace. Stay fit. Stay healthy.